Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be going over a Trader Joe's haul. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, you need to check out these items that will help you maintain or lose some weight. They're so good. So, wanna know what they are? Stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, again, I'm gonna apologize. They are redoing the street in front of our house with blacktop, and every time they back up, it's beep, 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 beep. I've been hearing this for days. It's, it's torturous. It's torturous. But anyway, we're gonna proceed. I'm gonna show you everything I got at Trader Joe's. Some of this stuff I haven't tried yet, so I'm not gonna give them a full thumbs up because I haven't tried them, but they look really interesting and they definitely look like they're gonna be low calorie. So let's get into it. The first thing, I've been buying this forever. If you do not buy their pre-made pizza doughs that are in the refrigerated section, they're so easy and so versatile. Um, they're so amazing. So what you do is you set them out on the counter for 20 minutes, let them kind of come to room temperature and then spread them out. And you can spread it out pretty thin and get a pretty good decent sized pizza. It's 130 calories for, eight, uh, for an eighth of the dough. The one that I get is the garlic and herb. They have a plain one if you don't like that flavor, but I make pizza with these all the time. They're so good. The next thing is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Greek Style Yogurt Dip. This is so amazing on toast, on low-cal bagels, bagel thins, on wraps. They are 60 calories for two tablespoons. Really good. Next, I'm on a massive hummus kick, but I've been to the Middle East several times and had some real authentic hummus, and most of the hummus here in the, in the States at least Mmm, doesn't quite cut it. But this one is Mediterranean style hummus, creamy and smooth, and it is fabulous. Really, really like it. It's tangy, it's creamy, it is smooth, it lives up to its uh, hype. It's 70 calories for two tablespoons, and actually what I like to do with it is to take those low-cal um, wraps, those big wraps, what are they called? I can't remember the name of them. But the big wraps that are like 80 calories for the whole thing and spread this all over it and make wraps out of them, so good. Okay, these two things I haven't tried yet, but I've heard some hype about them. These are the Trader Joe's Hearts of Palm Pasta Linguini, and this is shelf stable. It's in a package, and you can make just about anything sauce with it. I don't know what they taste like. If you know what they taste like, put it in the comments below. I'm, a, I'm nervous to try it, but I really wanna try it because per serving, which is a third of the package, it's 20 calories. You can eat the entire package for 60 calories. And all it says is you empty it into a saucepan, heat it for five minutes and serve it with your favorite sauce. Um, so if these, I'm really hoping these don't taste like shirataki mushrooms, shirataki mushrooms. <laughs> no, you know, the shirataki noodles that taste like rubber bands, not my thing. I'm really hoping these are better. If not, I have this, I don't even know what this is. It's vegetable pasta. You steam it in the bag. I think it's like a um, cabbage. It's a German turnip, but it's 25 calories for two cups. So this would be more along the line of like zoodles, zucchini noodles, but maybe not so watery squishy. We're gonna try these out. But if you also know what these taste like, let me know. I'm gonna be trying these out and hopefully update you soon. Okay, as far as snacks, if you haven't had these, they're the best thing ever. They are the white cheddar corn puffs and you get three, what is it? 28 grams, which is about 53 of them for 140 calories. So long. White cheddar, amazing. The other thing we love is the veggie stick. These are 140 for about 50 sticks as well. Um, super good, tastes like a potato chip. 
Excuse me. Okay, and if you haven't tried Bear Bell's protein bars, um, I've only tried two kinds and I love them so much. The salty peanut and the caramel cashew. You can get them individually at Trader Joe's if you don't want to buy the entire package online on Amazon, but it tastes like a candy bar and they're so filling. They've got 20 grams of protein, no added sugar, and I believe they are 200, yeah, 200 calories. So good. Get you some. Okay, on to the freezer section. And of course, the reduced guilt mac and cheese. This is so good. It's not a huge portion, so I would add some veggies or some protein or something to make it a full meal, or you could do this as a lunch. But the entire package is 270 calories, but you can't tell. It tastes like full calorie, full fat mac and cheese, but not. No guilt here. Next up, as a dish to put with some chicken or some steak, imported from Italy, it is the mushroom risotto. So if you like mushrooms, super good. A whole cup of this is 160 calories and super easy. Throw it into a saucepan six to seven minutes with some water and done. So really great for a weeknight dinner that doesn't take much time at all. And way to get some veggies in. Speaking of veggies, you cannot go wrong with the frozen French green beans. Um, you can roast them, you can saute them, whatever you wanna do with them. Put them in a stir fry, super easy, 30 calories for three quarters of a cup. And it only takes about five to seven minutes if you wanna boil them in water. I like to roast them with some garlic and a little bit of lemon and olive oil, but you do you. Okay, next I have not tried these, but I love me some good steel cut oatmeal. But if you want something a little bit quicker, these are in the frozen section, but they are the steel cut oatmeal individual packets. This is two packages, brown sugar and maple syrup, and it's 170 calories for a serving. So I haven't tried this yet, but I'm very intrigued. I think I might even be trying this this morning because I haven't eaten today. Okay, if you like Mexican street corn with cojita cheese, this is also in the frozen section, 180 calories for a cup of it. So good, so good. You can put these in like tacos as a side dish, really good. Option, Trader Joe's creamy spinach and artichoke dip. I mean, you can mix this up with pasta. You could mix this up with that, um, the hearts of palm maybe it would be good with, or that German, whatever this stuff is, this thing, maybe that would be a good meal. So this is more versatile than just having it as a dip. You can make it as a sauce too. Put it over some chicken, some grilled chicken, yummy. Oh, it is 40 calories for two tablespoons. So if you put like a couple tablespoons on top of some chicken, really adds a lot of flavor for only 40 calories. Really good option. These next two I have not tried, but I have tried a different kind of gnocchi from Trader Joe's and it does not disappoint. So this is the stuffed gnocchi. It's stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. 180 calories for a cup. I would put this with the protein and some other veggies and get yourself a little bit of comfort food. I don't know if he is just comfort food. Speaking of that, if you did not see last week's video with the sun-dried tomato gnocchi with white beans and uh, basil and spinach, oh my gosh, it's so good. I will link it in the cards up here. It is such a great, great recipe, super easy. Crowd pleaser for sure, check out that video. Okay, now cauliflower gnocchi, you've never had that before, but it's 140 calories a serving, so you're gonna save yourself 40 calories from this one. Not a huge difference, but uh, this may be really good. This actually says that you can air fry them. <gasps> I wonder if you could make them crispy. Mm. We're trying this one out. And last but not least, some really great French fries, 140 calories for 25 fries. And if you put this in the air fryer or in the oven, better in the air fryer, don't fry these in oil. Um, the handsome cut potato fries, burger night, pizza, well not pizza. Do you have fries with pizza? Maybe, I don't know. But so, so good and uh, Tasty and really nice to have on hand because it's frozen. You just whip out however many you want, 25 pieces for your 140 calories. Good deal. 
Okay, that's it for today's video. If you have some favorite Trader Joe's finds, please put those in the comments below so that we can all go and try them out. Coming soon, I'm gonna be doing a Walmart haul and a Kroger haul and a Costco haul on all the things that I buy there, so stay tuned for that, as well as more recipes in the future. Otherwise, I hope you are having a great day. Stay inspired to continue what we call affectionately the journey of a lifetime because we know that changing your health and getting healthy and staying healthy is a lifetime journey. It is not a short term lose the weight and then go back to eating the way you were before because then you end up gaining it all back, right? So it is finding things that can sustain us, that are satisfying, that taste good, that we can actually do for the journey of our lifetime. Until next time, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with anyone you think might be interested in this stuff. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.